safe to say that when you have a headache, you want it gone as quickly as possible. Whether you're someone who deals with them often or just once in a while, we have a home remedy that could help you get rid of the pain without medicine. Emily Paulson is an essential oils specialist, and she knows how irritating it can be to have a headache that won't go away. So she's joining us to demonstrate a couple of essential oil blends that you can use to help ease both headaches and nasal decongestion. Welcome, Emily. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks for having me back. Yes, thank you so much for coming in. I hate having headaches. Yeah. It's the worst. Yes. Especially when it comes from neck pain or other pain. Yes. And then nasal decongestion can also cause yes. headaches. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about how you can use essential oils rather than taking medicine. Yeah. So there are different forms of headaches, right? Like if we're talking about tension headaches that come from like our neck, which is so common for women, we just carry stress here. I love using our deep blue, a deep blue blend here. It's in a stick and it has copaiba, and that's a, a strong anti-inflammatory product. And you just roll it on back here, and it's like pretty instant relief. It's amazing for that, um, and it's kind, of, it's kind of like a natural icy hot. Ooh, so it, it smells, smells like that. Has peppermint, which brings a cool, and winter green brings the heat, and it's really calming. Past tense is another one that is amazing um, for head tension. So this one. Uh, I, I've given that to so many friends who have intense headaches and they're like, two minutes later, what was that? Ooh. Like that made it go away so quickly. Or Aroma Touch is a really good one too. If you want something a little bit less spicy, it doesn't have the peppermint in it, mm -hmm. um, but it can help with that tension. Another trick that I love to use, peppermint and frankincense are really amazing for headaches. And you can just put it um, right where the headache is you would dilute it a little bit, maybe in a okay. roller or something. And if you have like headaches back here, I say the rear of the temples, because it's spicy. And so if it gets close to your eye, don't use water, grab a fat, even if it's a stick of butter to like help alleviate any oh, of that okay. like, strong sensation, the water will intensify it. Or sometimes a headache is just everywhere. So you can mm -hmm. actually put that in your palms, rub it together and rub it through your scalp. And it is so soothing and relieving. And it's okay to put this on your hair then? Yeah. Okay. Well, I like rub it into my scalp. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you said dilute it. Now, mm -hmm. why is that so important rather than just putting it straight? Yeah, so when I'm putting it in my scalp, I just use it straight or neat, what I would say. When you're diluting it, it actually helps you to absorb it better though, and it less is more with essential oils. You're using less of that oil, you're avoiding that skin sensitivity, and you're actually helping the benefits to last longer. It acts like a blanket on the oil, that they're extremely volatile, so it helps the oils to stop escaping so rapidly. Is there a rule of thumb with that? So if I put two drops of peppermint in, how much water would I put in? Well, you don't use water. You'd oh, use a fat. So a you'd fat. Use, yes. A fat, okay. Yep, you'd use... Because I know we've used water when we've made blends in Yeah, the past. like for sprays and stuff. Yep, yeah. you would use like a fraction of coconut oil, which just stays liquid, or you're cooking coconut oil. And I would just use a little dab with a drop. So like two or three times as much oil as you do the, the essential oil. Okay. Um, and you could use avocado oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil. There's lots of different carriers. They're just non-essential oils. And then you can rub that in. You can make a roller out of them with peppermint and frankincense and roll that right on too. So if you have a headache, I mean, how often will you have to put this on to help relieve that pain? Yeah, um, I have had a lot of success putting it on once, maybe twice. And you just do it as needed. So it's not that you're going to overdose on it, that you have to wait three hours before you do the next application. Um, you can put it on in the next 30 minutes if you need some more relief. Or if it's like a really intense migraine, frankincense, tastes like a tree, so it's not gonna be like your favorite taste. Yeah. But putting a drop on your thumb and pushing it to the roof of your mouth is very soothing to that. What are the best essential oils then for nasal decongestion? Yeah, for a decongestant, I love Digestin which is actually a like tummy tamer blend, but it has oils in there that act as a decongestant. And Breathe is a really good one as well. For Digestin, you're going to dilute it, maybe in a roller or just in your palm, and rub it along the bridge of your nose and your sinuses. And up here, if you're feeling the congestion there, and get ready for the flow to happen. I mean, that's good. You want your body to get rid of those toxins. And then you can diffuse these as well. So like Breathe is really good for diffusing. Cardamom is an amazing one for littles, applying to the chest topically there. Cardamom or thyme um, is really good. Sometimes it settles in the chest, right? Mm -hmm. And so then I love tea tree and thyme diluted on the chest, on the front and the back. If you have access to a sauna, that is amazing. Or you can do a steam shower with it. You could put the oils, eucalyptus, breathe. 
um, around the drain in the shower and run a hot shower to have this steam loosen things up. Or you can make a steam mug too. Ooh, a steam mug. Yes. Yeah, so you can add like peppermint. We can try that if you just put a drop in your palms. You can do a ghetto diffuser with it. Um, Sorry, just put a drop in my palms. Just put a drop in your palms and don't rub your fingertips. Oops, that was two. No, that's okay. You got the rogue drop. Okay, so once And then rub your palms together and then cup it over your nose. You might want to close your eyes and breathe it in. Do you feel that? Open up your airways. Mm -hmm. And if it's in your chest, you make a peppermint bomb is what I call it. Yeah. Where you flatten one palm and cup the other one over and breathe it in like that. And that helps. It tastes like a mint. It helps open up your chest. Or you can use a steam mug, which is just going to be hot water. And then you're going to add like a tea tree, a eucalyptus, a peppermint. It's going to be snotty and disgusting. You're not going <laughs> to drink this afterwards. And you can always grab a towel and put that over your head to help um, encapsulate it a little bit more. And close your eyes. It'll be spicy, but breathe that in deep. Do it for five, ten minutes at least um, to help really open up those sinuses. So with that hot water, do you, what do you add in with it? You the oils. Add... I just do the oils okay. straight in there. Yep, so it's like you're making a cup of tea, but then you're going to do the oils in there. Um, and you're going to breathe it in and just let the drip happen. And you can make a tea that's immunostimulant with lemon and on guard, some uh, raw honey. And uh, top it off with water. And lemon is a mucolytic, so it's going to break up congestion, any of the phlegm in your throat. And On Guard is going to help with respiratory support, but also immune support to help you heal quicker. So lots of options. Yeah, so many options. And I love how easy it is. I mean, just rubbing peppermint. It's crazy just breathing. Yes. And I'm like, whew, yes. that definitely opened me up. Yes. So really, you can do these simple things. I mean, a lot of people drink tea on the regular anyways. Mm -hmm. So. Really, really great tips. Thank you so much, Emily, for coming yes. in and telling us all about these. Yes, you're welcome. Stay healthy, everyone.